This is crazy. Wake up call. We got a big toss. So I haven't brought this bad girl out in a minute. We are at? We are at Palisades. At Tahoe. Palisades Tahoe. And we're going to get some shots of this tram that they built that connects what was once Squaw to Alpine. And it's going to be the third biggest ski resort in North America. That's a heavy claim. But they invited us up to go and take a look at what they're building up there and to hopefully get some beautiful sunrise shots here. We got the legends behind us now. Let's do it. Dog in the summer? I can see my line right now. We'll give off the stump, fade the bank, send the cliff drop. All right guys, we gotta give a couple just talking points real quick to explain what we just saw and how amazing that experience was. First of all, huge shout out and thank you to Palisades at Tahoe for having us come through and get first sight, at least first sight on our own eyes of a 70 year project. Basically the owners had a vision of connecting the two mountains for the past almost century and it's finally going down. So coming this December 17th will be the grand opening of the tram connecting Palisades at Tahoe all the way to Alpine. You'll have the ability to get off at the top at the K222 Lodge and have access to some of the most insane terrain in all of California. It's only a 16 minute ride end to end. So if you just wanna traverse, it is just so convenient and it's gonna allow access to, I think they were claiming like 6,000 acres of ski shredability. So hope you guys are stoked on what you just saw. I know that we are for sure. We're gonna be doing a lot of snowboarding, skiing, riding, shredding at Alpine and at Palisades this entire season. And I am just so stoked to be a part of it and to be able to get up there and get first glance at it. So it looks insane. Hope you guys are stoked on it. We are about to switch gears though. My brother, Dana Willax, front man of Kingdom of Giants, has a show in Sacramento tonight and it's gonna get turned up. We gotta find Mito, we gotta pack the car, and we gotta get going pretty soon here. 
god. Are we gonna make it? Just checking the oil. Are we gonna make it? Old faithful. Looks like it. How she feel? Great. <laughs> says car no 119 degrees look at the car you hear it is that us <laughs> what is it we need a mid mid drive breakdown it's so hot we were driving through a fire at one point we've seen flames on both sides of the roads <laughs> and uh i don't think we're like 20 minutes away from the venue we had to stop and find AC because I was physically melting. I was actually thinking that if the human body physically melts at a certain degree, then that means on its way to that degree, you're partially melting. So we've been partially melting. Did you know that? Africa heat. <laughs> it's like way gnarlier than anything I've ever experienced. I'm thinking about going to South America more than ever right now. But we gotta make it. We're late to the show. We are, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is unbearable, dude. You know what the messed up part is? Everyone is just acting like this is normal. They all have AC. They all have AC. That's what's going on. It's all normal until they get out of this. <laughs> Any hotter, like a couple more degrees, and your phone stops working. It'll literally say, temperature overload. Your car started malfunctioning. <laughs> No, it didn't. He's lying. Okay. It, was, it was hiccuping. <laughs> All right, let's go see the boys. I got a text from D-Dub. He said it's nice in there, so we're going to get out of here. Get D-Dub. Just get us up front real quick. You <laughs> guys are alive. We were talking about getting a spot with the gym for the morning. Oh, you yeah, walked yeah, in. Right, bro. Oh, yeah. Always a pleasure, bro. Oh, <laughs> I got a bike to support you guys. But look at this kid has to pay to get in. <laughs> Shut the hell up! There's no way! They say I pay double. No. They pay double. But, like re upload clips of old stuff. I'm like, he's not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> like the thumbnail every time. If my girlfriend's like, he's not here, is he? I'm like, no, look at the stuff. It's in the wrong spot. There's, there's no way to know. He could arrange it. That's all awesome. arranged while you're asleep. Yeah. I was like, that's why I pay attention to the vlog. Yeah. That's why I know he's getting close. He's, he's <laughs> right here. That's the Scotty B method. Got me shoes? <laughs> yeah, the true world's mine. The shoes are yours. <laughs> wow. Bro. A little tour stoke. Thank you so much.
I got it. Where are they f***ing from? Here, I'm, see, I got another reason to be pissed off at YouTube now. Because yeah. I get all my music on YouTube, and it, like the algorithm, I keep saying how good it is. Yeah. I've never f***ing heard of them, and my mind is blown. That's why I'm building this platform, because YouTube sucks. Let's go. No, we got to do Connecticut, it. Connecticut, bro. Yeah. Well, they're from California, all the other ones, but my brother's so where, where are they going next? What happened out there, Mina? Oh, my God. Straight carnage. <laughs> what did you get film of potentially? Some hammer fists, maybe? You got a quick little back in the head? <laughs> We've done the snowboarding etiquette video. We almost need to do the hardcore show etiquette. How to handle yourself in a mosh pit. Don't think that the guys in the middle of the pit are actually trying to fight you. That's kind of a dance thing we got going on. <laughs> You know what I mean? We're, we're all working together out there. I definitely have a clip of you, only one in the pit, you're going around and all of a sudden you just get took, taken and thrown, just full on. Hit the ground? Oh, I, oh yeah, he can't see you at all. I mean, didn't get it. What do you mean? That's not in there. So you just, we need a verbal breakdown of what so, you saw. Yeah, so you were going in, casual dance. <laughs> we'll, call, we'll call it. You got pushed to a corner and all of a sudden this guy didn't like it. He was just straight hammer fisting you in the top of the head. From behind. Behind, yeah. I mean, you got pushed to a corner. He went full tornado on him. I'm pretty sure you, you hit him. And then as far as he came back, he just wanted some retaliation. <laughs> Cool guy, we were like, we were just like laughing in the corner because I was literally watching him laughing in the corner. I mean, no. after it happened, and then all of a sudden, Steve's looking around like, what's going on? He's getting afraid of like, the guy's probably a fan too. He's probably like, oh, after flying, watching the vlog, be like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we see another show somewhere. There's that possibility. Let's see the flex. Let's see the body. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're there. The shoulder is there. It's not back. It's, it's there. It's in route. It's in route. It's there. I mean... We don't know what this is. <laughs> we know it's going to buff. Let's see that actually again. Because maybe someone in the maybe comments will. Tell me the answer to why this is so weird. <laughs> it's a problem. It's, you're bulking. It's all going right there. Put a little true wild on it. Rub, you Rub a little green on it. Rub a little green on it. Come to find out on the ride home, <laughs> this <laughs> guy's got air conditioning. <laughs> I almost died because of you today. Feeling like I'm 19 again. <laughs> what is going on? I got a little destiny. You got a little destiny. Good old, is, good old destiny. What does that even mean? Right, at least came through the AC at the end. We tried it once. Good breakdown from a nice, relaxed Cuervo. We've seen KOG, we've seen Currents. KOG absolutely destroyed. Probably the best set that I've ever seen in, in Sacramento. First time me seeing them. We didn't get you in the pit. No, we did not. But we, you were close. <laughs> yes. You were close. Oh, Harry. I got beat down. <laughs> I was trying to have that happen to me. I did a bunch of beating down. Uh, honestly, met a bunch of legends there that were giving us shout outs, saying that they followed KOG and found out about KOG from watching the vlog and that they've been just there. We posted on the story that we were going to be there, so it was nice to see some fans of Kingdom of Giants, some fans of the Dream, and just kind of collaborating on that whole entire thing it was epic. Epic show. It is currently 89 degrees. Slow down, it's getting hot. Exactly. You don't have AC. I don't What happened? I don't know. So it's happened earlier. The good news is that they're claiming it's like, what was it? 65? 65 in Truckee. So every 10 minutes, we're going to drop a degree until we're home. That's the good time. But uh, I will leave the King of the Giants tour dates for the rest of their tour in the description or on the screen here or something if you guys are in the area. Portland, next show. Portland. That's tomorrow though, this video's not gonna drop by then. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, Portland. But uh, yeah, go follow the boys. Try to find them, go support. I tried to support. I got some t-shirts and just got, got the crowd moving for the gang members. Shout out to the homie Simon. We didn't get any clips of him, but the energy that our man was bringing is all time. And uh, wow. yeah, we gotta put the man on. Woo! <laughs>